All right, you guys, welcome back to another video. Now, as you all may know, we hit 8,000 subscribers, and you know what that means? That means the release of my map. This will be the one you are seeing in the background here. So right quick, guys, I just wanted to take a second to announce the winner of the free house build on the map. Mr. Alex, you are the winner. Mr. Alex, I hope you see this. I hope you are watching this video right here so that you know this house will be in the process of being built. Also, if you would like, I could put your name in the front yard just so you can prove to everybody that this is your house. Now, with all of that being said, nobody worry. I'm going to be giving everyone another chance. I'm actually going to probably be giving you guys several chances to have a home built on my map. All you need to do is make sure you are subscribed with post notifications turned on and comment house down below. Now, I will be announcing the winner of the next house when we reach 9,500 subscribers. Now, I actually have several things to do on this map. There's a scrapyard, there's a rock crawling area, there's actually two rock crawling areas, and there's also a dirt bike track. Now, there will be more things added into this map, but that is going to take a little bit longer to, you know, get all that done. But I'm going to go ahead and release the map today now after this video is uploaded i'll be going to make the map public that way all you guys can get out there start playing on it you know and enjoying all of it the only thing i do ask is if anybody uses the map in their youtube videos and things like that you know if you would just mention me in your videos you know if you're using the map i would really really appreciate that because this map it took a lot of work i've been working really hard on it for you guys you know now up next here i'm going to be giving you guys the map name here it is on screen you can see this now the name of it is home of cody 72 best map for role playing and the author of course is yt cody 72 now you'll be able to go over check that map out you know tell me what you guys think now moving on to our facebook page here now this is something that i made just for you know me and my subscribers that way we can go and kind of discuss things on this page you can post your builds things like that just be sure to keep everything family friendly those who don't follow the rules and do that will have to be removed but other than that you know this will be a page for all of us you know to kind of go post our builds and things like that because i know there's been a lot of times where you guys wanted to show me things you have built so this will now allow you to do that all right you guys so we are to the point in the video where we can start building whistling diesel's first gen dodge so let's head over to the dealership here go ahead and go to trucks let's go find this thing now i'm just going to kind of skip to the end we have the truck in mind that we will be doing here it is now like i said i've been a fan of this truck for years and years now i've always wanted one so today we finally have the chance to buy one in off-road outlaws so we're just going to go ahead and buy this truck now twenty thousand dollars not too bad all right so like i said we will be building whistling diesel's first gen dodge so let's go ahead and start off with the body mods here now i can see that he has a chrome bumper in the front now this is going to be as close as we can get to a chrome bump it just has the black on top which will be fine i think that will work out just as good let's see now he doesn't have any fender wells and the back he has just the stock bumper so if we go over to the bed he has just the regular bed of course now he doesn't have anything on the top like this one here so let's go ahead and move over to this he doesn't have any steps doesn't have any light bars or anything like that it would look really good with a light bar though so let's move on he definitely doesn't have a snorkel definitely doesn't have a tire definitely doesn't have this right here nope nope he doesn't have that so i have a feeling this build is going to be more focused around like the wraps and all to get that you know two-tone look that he does have on his truck so let's go here let's see so none of these are actually yeah he doesn't have any of these things now we're going to go ahead and put those lights there just because i like those now everybody has been talking about having trouble with the repair kit and yes i have actually been having trouble using mine too i don't actually think you can use them while you're out you know playing the game i think you have to come back into the lobby and repair your truck that way but i'm sure they'll get that taken care of very soon all right now moving over to paint so we're going to go ahead and see if we can't get the paint on this thing let's see his windows are pretty dark okay so the base of his truck the actual whole of his truck is green it's got this green color here it's pretty dark i'm gonna kind of see if we can get that color with the glossy paint let's see can we do it let's see maybe add a little bit darker color that way just kind of add a little bit darker okay so i think we're pretty close there i may be off just a little bit but we're just going to kind of stick with that for now we still have a lot of work to do with the wrap all right now moving on to the rims let's see they are chrome rims so let's go ahead and do this right here go ahead and get the chrome going on there go ahead and move over to the back let's go ahead and make these chrome just like that chrome chrome all righty go ahead and make our bead chrome too 
Now those are a pretty deep dish wheel so can we find something to kind of look like that? Kind of resemble that you know? Let's see hey that's a deep dish but uh not the right rim. Let's see what is going to be our best choice of rim because I honestly want it to kind of look you know like his as much as possible. So his rims look more kind of like that but not really more so like this I'd say. I guess we'll just go with those those are kind of a deep dish wheel let's see maybe we can go with this right here yes okay now they need to be bigger of course those rims are pretty good size that are on his truck now for tires i think we will just go with let's see here maybe hmm definitely not that tire maybe that tire right there so we'll just go with that tire right there so now we have our tire choice chosen now first before we jump over to the wraps and the decals I want to go ahead and let's go ahead and apply these mods. I want to go ahead and adjust these wheels and tires. Let's go ahead and make these rims big. The rims he has on his truck are pretty good size. Yeah, they look a lot like that. Let's go ahead and move the rim size up on this too. Go ahead and move the back rim size up. So we have that going there. Let's see. So we got all that done. Now I think the wheel radius can be moved up just a little bit, about right there. Let's see that move up to about right and then move this up to about right there. All right, so I think we got that part going for us. Let's see. Now to level the truck out, let's kind of go ahead and use the travel here for the front. Kind of get it sitting about right there. Now he doesn't have a big lift on this truck necessarily. I think we got ours sitting about how his does. Now for the axis width, the wheels actually do come out past the truck a good bit so I'd say about right there now I'm gonna have to make these wheels a little bit wider of course so axis width for the rear let's see about right there a little over that little line on the floor so axis width for the front let's see if we can make this a little bit wider not quite that wide about right there I'd say and now these wheels like I said do need to be a little bit wider so let's move on to the wheels and tires go ahead and make these wheels wider here so now i think we are looking pretty good on our wheels and all let's see maybe a little not quite so wide maybe right there so let's go ahead and move the back around let's see maybe right there okay so i think we got that part going for us all right now our wheels are looking pretty good the back axle width i think needs to be adjusted just a little bit let's go ahead and jump over to tuning let's go ahead and get to the back of this truck maybe right here i think it needs to go out just a teeny bit just like that you know we want to make everything look perfect all right now we got the truck looking pretty pretty good here all right so we got the truck looking pretty good let's go ahead and get back into the customization side of things let's go ahead and move over to our wraps now actually i think what it's going to have to be we're going to have to go to decals that's right let's start with stripes should i start with that i think that's going to kind of give us whoa whoa that's not where we needed to go so actually let's do this right here we need the rounded edge square so let's use this one so going for the front of his truck he has that two-tone gray going all the way down now it's not very big maybe about like this something like that now i will be going back through here and kind of making this all look a little bit better this is just kind of a rough draft i guess you could say now as you can see there I actually did figure out a little bit different way to do this wrap here like i said i'm still learning how to use all of this stuff so there we go now we have that two-tone look going on now i know it's not exactly identical to his so maybe we can move it let's see all right so there we go we have it on both sides of the truck now like i said i did figure out a little better way to do the whole wrap system you know and like i said now i'm still learning how to use some of these things so we have that on now like i said the wrap i'm trying to get it as close to the real thing as possible Let's see, maybe we can use this and put it to like a green kind of color. Let's see, maybe we can blend it right here. So do you only get certain color options with this? Is that what I'm seeing? Nope, nope, definitely not. All right, so maybe we should go there. Maybe a little bit darker. So maybe about, oh, that, that color's off some. Let's see, I'm trying to match it up best I can. All right, now I think, see, are we able to apply? No, we aren't. I'm trying to apply that on top of the other wrap. So this, I think this is going to be all we can do. Now, if you guys do come up with a different way to get the bottom half, you know, back the original color, 
please tell me i'd like to know but for the sake of this video being extremely extremely long now we're just going to kind of go with this so let's go ahead and i guess save this all right so there we have it we have the whistling diesel first gen dodge man this thing honestly looks so so good maybe we should move the let's see so i think we should kind of go in and move this wrap up just a little bit there let's go ahead and make a little adjustment right there now i'm glad i caught that when i did so let's go ahead and save this set i just named it diesel all right apply those free mods look at there now we have whistling diesels first gen dodge in off-road outlaws now i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you would like subscribe turn on those post notifications and i'll see you guys in the next one Like what's up guy? I was down so bad I took those L's